going to take it? Well, I don't know, Dan. But they'll expect you to, won't they, if it's a promotion? Well, what they expect, what they get, those are two very different things, Dan. Ta-da! Quiet, Terry. Yeah, but I don't understand, Alan. If it's a promotion, if it's more money, why aren't you going to take it? In a nutshell, Dad, that puts it in a sweet, crunchy nutshell. I can't wait to the answer. Listen to me, young lady. You're not too old. To go across your knee? No, not too old, but twice again too large. You can still be sent out of the room. You sent me out of the room, sweetie. You sent me out of the house. Don't speak to your mother like that. Oh, is that my mother? I quite forgot. I thought it was my older sister. Look! <laughs> you think you're very clever, don't well, you? Well, I think sometimes I get by, yes. In a fairly large crowd. <laughs> Look, why aren't you going to take the job? <laughs> Dad, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do, not yet. Does it mean moving away from London? Yes, it does. Lock, stock and barrel, if I can refer to darling Ellen. Is that what it means? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. I don't know if it's a good thing. It's a good I... job? What do you know about well, it? Well, presumably it is a good job, otherwise you wouldn't think of taking no, it. No, it's a good job. You want to take it? How far away? Well, really, quite far. From London, away from London. Look, I, I shan't take it. it I, I'm sorry I mentioned it. Can I bet you are? You mind your own business. There's too many problems. The children have just started school. Oh, there are schools in this place you're not going. Ellen and her friends. Well, I don't she's think quite it's a friend, sir. It's just not my type. Ellen, song. if it's a good job. Well, it's not that good. And you want to take it. We won't see you. Then you must take it. Thanks. I'll make up my own mind. Ha! Shut up. Right. Sniping, endless sniping. Don't you ever get bored? If you want to take you the job... You mustn't think about us, Alan. Your father and I can manage quite well. We've got the house, we've got enough money. The only thing that matters really is, is your career. We've tried to give you every possible chance. If this is the right thing for you to do, well, then you must do it. That's all there is to it. After all, we're getting on now. Mrs. We... Stevens, wife and mother, I present you with the Jesus of Nazareth Award for suffering humanity. May God bless you and all who serve... You have a filthy mouth. I better go and wash it. How dare you speak like that in this house? Oh, yes, that's right. What Ray tell me, Mother dear, is so special about this you house? Might, you think he's you think he's gonna be offended because your daughter? Coward. Why doesn't he strike me dead? I will not have you making your cheap jokes. Yeah, they're so shocking. Why doesn't he reach down pow and strike me dead? You think you're so important. I think anyone who needs something, anything, I don't know, God knows. Your friends think that's very funny, Look, I once suppose. Once for all, the friends I've got, I haven't got any. You put butter on that piece of bread, eat, and you still wouldn't choke Harry, on them. Be quiet. Sweetie, I've only just started. You don't make me laugh. Well, five elephants and a camel stuck in a phone box wouldn't make you laugh. If you can't control you your let him take that job. I think it's better if you don't come and see us again. Mother, no. You wouldn't let him take that job if it was everything he wanted, if it was ten million pounds a week. And free milk for the kids. We can manage quite Oh, well. yes, you've got the house, you've got enough money, yes. It's the same every oh, time no, you come different. and see us. This time, it's different. It's got nothing to... I mean, this whole you thing... You must take that There's job. no bloody must about it. I'm sorry. Uh... I'm sorry, it's all the shouting. And it is my choice. I shan't come here again. Terry, come on, you don't mean that. It hurts too much. It isn't fair. Everyone gets their chance to hurt you once. Maybe twice if you're stupid or maybe love them. Families any time they like. I don't think the way things are... I don't want to get hurt anymore. You don't know the meaning of the word. Oh, enter the uninvited guest. See who it is. Well, he answered all our problems. We shan't say a word till you get back. I promise. It's probably Gordon. Now look. Answer the door. Both of you. Truce. Don't come and see us again. I won't. I can manage. I'll give you my address in case you need... Well, in case anything happens and you want to get in touch. Thank you. I'm on the phone. Might as well leave the number. I thought I would. When's it due? Four, maybe five months. 
You ought to have a doctor look at you. I go to the hospital. Huh. They're very good. I'm going to have it at the hospital. Well, they'll make you if it's the first. It is the first. First I've had, yeah. Huh? If you're anything like me, you'll have a rough time. That seems to be the general opinion. You want to have it? Yes. I didn't really mean... Uh, if you want to come and see you us... You meant it anyway. I, I don't want to. I've only got five months, five at the most. I've got a lot of things to learn. Looking after myself, living on my own. I thought you said Jessica. Isn't that her name? Isn't no, she living with you? Just for the moment. Only for the moment. Till the baby? No. Do you want me to tell your father? You do as you want to no, do. No, it's up to you. Well, I... I'd rather you didn't, if that's possible. You drop us a line. Not for a while. Well, when... Oh, I... yes, I will. Have you anything without tips? No, I don't think so. I smoked my last on the train. Oh, I must get... No. No, there's no need. I don't, I don't have to get any ice cream. Have you thought about all the things? I mean, you'll need a great yeah, many I've things. I've thought, that... I've read, I've asked. You talk to a lot of people. No, it's not the kind of thing. But anyway, I've got to go on working. No, just a few theoretical. <laughs> I always thought... You've got a match? If it had teeth, it would have bitten you. I'm really very frightened. There's no need. Gordon. I'll go and say goodbye to Dad. I've just palmed Gordon over. Well, he'll have to get out then, won't he? Well, put it a bit more graciously. Well, what is he? Some sort of tender plant? Aren't we all? I'll tell him. Daughter talk. That'll put the fear of God into him. <laughs> what would we do without you? What? A very present help in time of trouble. I suppose you know what you're talking about. What makes you think that? Dad? Follow it, hmm? Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was it. That's all right. Though. Quite all right. What is it, Terry? I want to say goodbye. Well, you're going. I'm afraid so. I'll leave you alone. No, no, don't go away. If you wouldn't mind. Of course not. I was enjoying our chat. I'll, uh, wait outside. Thanks. No, don't go away. But Mr... Uh, Lester. Gordon Lester. Mr Lester came to see Alan, Dad. He went to school with Alan. We were talking about it, talking about the old days. Yes, I know. Uh, when you've spoken to your daughter. I was enjoying it. I want to say goodbye. They used to play football together. <laughs> we were talking about it. Where is Alan? Oh, he's in the front room. He's talking to my mother. Don't disturb them. Oh. Is that a, um, you got one without a tip? What? Yes. Let me have it. Certainly. Thanks. I used to watch them play. I don't suppose you remember, Terry. Hmm, I remember. You don't remember me. Should I? We used to know each other. We went to a couple of dances. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's a long time ago. Uh, what was it you wanted to say? Excuse me. Of course. I want to say goodbye. Well, aren't you staying to supper? No, I can't, sorry. Your mother will be disappointed. A bit busy tonight. You're happy, are you? Yes, why? You should be happy. Thanks. When are you coming to see us again? Oh, I don't know, sometime. Make it soon. Your mother misses you. Now, don't do too much. Don't let Alan break your back. No, I won't. He's on some kind of health kick at the moment. Huh? He's decided you need a lot of fresh air and exercise. Do you remember that picnic? Picnic? What picnic, Dad? On a hill, the side of a hill, you went running and you fell over. Did that really happen? I thought you were going to roll clear down the hill. I thought I made it up. It was such a hot day. Your mother had the devil of a job making you keep your clothes on. Funny. Uh, do you remember climbing? There was just the one path, and that wasn't much of a path. 
Yes, I remember. I had to carry you. <laughs> and Alan went on up the path and stood. He stood right at the top of the hill and shouted down to us. Yes. Come on, he shouted. Buck up. Slow coaches. <laughs> Your poor mother, she only just made it. It's a good thing she did. She was carrying the food. That was a day. I thought I made it up. It was a good day. Aren't you staying for supper? No, I, no, I can't, sorry. When are we going to see you again? Oh, soon. Make it soon. <laughs> <laughs> you were laughing and crying. Dirt all over your face, your clothes, your cut your knee. It was a good day. Yes. You've told your mother. What? That you're not staying to supper. Oh, yes. Well, you know what she is. Mm. We've got your address, have we? Mm. I'll give it to mother. Make sure you do. Bye. Take care of yourself. I'll try to. Terry, what about your present? You can't go without your present. Oh, no, I suppose... Oh, of course you can't. I don't know what your mother would say if you went without your present. Now. Mother! Look, Dad, you don't have to... Alan! Can't let Teddy go without giving out her a present. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what parents... It's all right. Don't worry, please. I don't even want to. Look, you don't have to... Come on, Terry, come and open it. Can you guess what it is? No, I've no idea. What the fuss is about? No, no, don't, Terry. Just guess. Can you guess? No, I haven't the faintest idea. Here you are. Oh. Uh. Uh, this will help. I don't know why you've wrapped it up like, like I don't know what. Well, that's the fun, isn't it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Terry. <coughs> oh. Your mother chose it. Yes. Well, you like it, don't you? Oh, yes, it's lovely. Thank you. Couldn't think what else. No, it's super, really. Thanks. Happy birthday. I've got nothing for you. Well, I'll leave an address. You can send it on to me. Mm, just like a brother. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can always go and change it afterwards. But of course she likes it. Yes, I do. I like it. Well, then. You're welcome to stay to supper. Oh, no, thanks. Um, oh, have you anything I can write with? Mm, a pen, maybe. No, don't I do, do that. Address. I might find a use for that. Better go and look after your friend. He was looking distinctly sorry for himself a few moments ago. Oh, for goodness sake. There you are. Put it somewhere safe so you can be sure and lose it. 130A, 4 Scythe Street. I was only three when my parents died. How terrible. Yes, I suppose it was. Both of them. In a car crash. They were driving back from France together. It was just before the war. I didn't understand at the time. They told me, of course... If you were only three... Just Mummy and Daddy aren't... aren't coming home. Don't talk about it. Life went on. What well, children accept things. Mm. I was living with my aunt and uncle, was staying with them while their parents were away. Then I lived with them. <laughs> nice house. Oh, enormous. At least I think it was enormous. Everything seems enormous when you're a child. Where was it? In the country. I had a beautiful pony. I used to ride him every day. I hardly ever went to school. <laughs> Obviously, you were very spoiled. I don't think so. I was joking. Oh. They were so nice. They never tried... You know, they never pretended they were my parents. They let me keep... They sound nice. They were super. Of course, they wanted me to stay there with them, but I thought, no, London, the big city. You live here? Oh, live here, die here. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else now. 
I've been back to see... I'm sorry, I, I must be boring you. No, no, of course not. Uh, would you like some more coffee? Yes, as a matter of fact, I would. It's funny, I can talk to you. Um, two coffees, please. I feel I've known you all my life. It's like that, isn't it, with some people you meet? If you're lucky. Very lucky. Mm. I haven't enjoyed myself this much in ages. Oh, that's nice. Uh, you're entirely to blame. Play? Well, I'd rather enjoy being miserable. It's so romantic, pale and interesting. Well, hasn't anyone ever said that to you? <laughs> no, the way you sparkle, they wouldn't, would they? Oh. Marianne, I thought... Nothing. I thought, as usual. What did you think? You went back to see what you were saying just now. Uh, oh, yes, my parents' house, where we used to live. Oh. Well, I could have saved myself the trouble. Redevelopment area. They pulled it down, pulled the whole street down. No. Yes, not a trace. Could I have a cigarette? Sorry. <laughs> yes, of course. Got them out for you. <laughs> Might never have existed. So much for sentimental journeys. You are a fantastic creature. From outer space, beware. I came in on the last Gemini capsule. <laughs> um, what do you do? Well, that just depends, doesn't it? How do you mean? To what do you refer? <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm a sort of uh, man Friday. <laughs> you could have fooled a me. A sort of female white man Friday. Leaving no footprints in the sand. Not if I can help it. We're going to Germany tomorrow. We? Oui. My boss. He's setting up a film, sort of co-production. That sounds exciting. Yes, we went to America. When was that? Oh, two weeks back. Well, you certainly get around. Oh, aeroplanes, hotel rooms, cases, you know, packing, unpacking. You like it? Oh, yes, I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it. Well, that doesn't necessarily follow. Oh, with some people, maybe, not me. For instance, I really loathe the job I have to do. Well, you don't have to do it. Hmm. Do you? Don't tempt me. Don't you ever want to go back to the country? The peace, all that space and nothing? Well, I'm old. Very, very old. Maybe then. I had a very happy childhood. Does that surprise you? No. They took such trouble. People should take trouble with children. Well, sometimes, if there's a reason. Oh, it's easier. Oh, yes. Perhaps if they'd been my own parents. What should we do now? I don't know. What would you like to oh, do? It's Sunday, isn't it? Oh. Even the big city gets pretty provincial on a Sunday well, night. This time, yes. I've got a lot of super records at my place. I don't know if you like... Music? I'm potty about it. We could go back. Play a few records. Yes. I think I'd like that. All right. Terry, baby! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> long time. Long, long, long time. No see. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have come here. I thought maybe you didn't anymore. Well, I've been trying to kick the habit. Great you look, baby. Just great. Uh, yeah, Jeffrey Lawrence. Leonard Ngana. Hi. His friends call him Lenny. I call him Leonard. How you been? Fine. You know, I look to see you every time I come. Sorry you've been disappointed. I thought maybe you'd found some place else. Oh, where else is you? You can make instant friends. Just add a little gin. <laughs> you look, you know, a million dollars, baby. Yeah, we're just going. Hey, no. Have a drink with me. Another time. Is there going to be another time? No, I shouldn't think so. Well, now's as good a now time. Now is a terrible time. Terry? How long you know Terry, baby? I met her tonight. Terry. Look, do you want to stay here and have another drink? No. For old times' sake. Old times' sake, baby. I might just break this chair over your stupid fat head. <laughs> you look great. Don't be deceived by those laughing eyes and those smiling teeth, all 89 of them. Back there, there is a snake, a real live jungle snake. I miss you. I miss you too, like bad breath. But take no notice, Jeff, baby. She's just an old-fashioned girl. You always call a spade a nigger. Go away. 
I just now got here. Ma'am. Well, you'll be surprised to learn, baby, that you just now got here too late. All booked up for tonight. Five years too late. Oh, you don't mean that. I mean it. I don't understand. Have you paid the bill? Because you are going to. No, I haven't. I hope you enjoyed your meal. I'd like to go. I hope you're satisfied. Yes, of course. There's that story, you know, about the woman always pays. <laughs> Oh, they just never heard about little old Terry when they said that. Why does he call you Terry? Because that's her name. Oh, this, that's my name. Terry? Teresa. Which they all shortened to Terry. But you said... Because she makes out to be a woman. Like baby. you make out to be a man. Hey, hey, pow! Marianne. <clears throat> well, sometimes I, I like to... I knew I shouldn't have come here. You've been telling stories again, baby. You shouldn't do that. You know, the good God liable to find out. Look, if God is good, and if he's there, I doubt it. I doubt he's there at all. But if he is, why are you sitting here? What in hell are you doing? Did it hurt you? What? Marianne, did she hurt you? No. Did she hurt anyone? Now you're going to cry. Oh, that's always the best bit. I love to see you cry, baby. When you're ready. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I don't begin to understand. Oh, there ain't a man. Shut up. <laughs> really? It's all right. I haven't enjoyed myself. It was a so... super meal. Well, I guess I'm going to cry now. Thanks. Well, maybe mm. we'll. Mm. Of course. Goodbye. Bye now. Goodbye. So long, baby. What you and me gonna do now, baby? Terry, are you there? Yeah. <gasps> Hello. Friend. Who are you? It's all right. Yes, he's harmless. All appearances to the contrary. Terry. You afraid of me, little friend? I won't eat you. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Grrr. You didn't tell me you had a little friend living with you, baby. You didn't ask. What's, go what's going on? Who is it? Jessica Adams, Leonard Nagana. Hi, little friend. He's my husband. Was my husband. Oh, still I am, Terry, baby. Mm. Gonna have to do something about that. Can't have a baby born with the name Nagana. <laughs> you think you're going to have a baby? You're really optimistic. Yeah, certainly I'm gonna have a baby. Four, maybe five months from now. My baby? Oh, how did we achieve that? Remote control be your ever-loving age, sweetie. No, not your baby. Well, you're my wife. You're going to have my baby. Pink, with blonde hair and blue eyes, I hope. One head, two arms and two legs. Come to the laundrette, Jess. This time of night. Well, the sheets are dirty. I hate sleeping in dirty sheets. Oh, bitch. Nobody asked you to come home with them, sweetie. It was your idea. What are you doing? Having a baby? I mean, it happens. Regularly. I haven't got the statistics to hand. You didn't want a baby. I didn't want your baby. You wanted me. I got over that. Bitch. Something you weren't ever going to believe. Terry. Yes, go on, answer it. I thought if I showed you, I could take it or leave it alone. You didn't want a baby. Now leave me alone. Leave me you in peace. You wouldn't have a baby. Well, do you think you make a good father? What father you got for him? Huh? That man, what's his name? Lawrence, you're going to make him the father? I can't make anyone the father. Elementary biology, it's already decided. Who? I don't know. Terry. I don't want to know. It's your brother, Terry. He wants to talk to you. No. It's important. He says Look, urgent. Tell him I'm dead. Tell him I died of exposure. You get yourself dressed and out of here. Terry. Look, tell him no. You're sick, baby. You know that. Mm. Well, all of us sick, sweetie. Some of us flat on our backs, some of us walking around. Now go away. I don't know what he wants to say. I don't want to talk to him. I think you should. One of us, Alan or me, should have been a cripple. Born a cripple. 
That would have been perfect. A lifetime's devotion. Feeding and washing. Oh, yes, that's the answer. I can see her cleaning up after me, lifting me into bed, being brave. The mute gratitude shining in my face, her own reward, and it's enough. I can see her refusing to die, arguing with God. What will Terry do? Calling God by his first name. She never calls anyone by their first name. She's helpless. I can't leave her. You must take Terry first. God. I can see the tears in his tired old eyes running down into his tired old beard. A mother's breaking heart. I am a great disappointment to my mother. Oh, for goodness sake. Healthy like I am, strong and standing, more or less standing on my own two feet. I don't know what's expected of a child. God, I promise that a function in his life, that's all. Food and warmth, as long as he needs it, wants it. And when he wants to go goodbye, I promise. Because I'm going to see he has none of the advantages I had. You told her? I didn't have to tell her, sweetie. My mother can see her baby clear ten months away. What did she say? Write us a letter. Tell us what it is, boy, girl, or monster. Oh, no. What did you say? When I get home, I'm going to have a bath. Well, how did you tell her? I didn't tell. Did you give her a chance? Did you let her... What? Oh, I don't know. Act like a mother. The way you talk about her... Can't be true. No. She's a... What's the expression? Human being? Yes, she is. No, I didn't give her a chance. She had a chance. She didn't take it. Nobody gets two chances. I don't. Nobody... Lonely. We're all lonely, but... Yes, I am alone. I will be alone sometime, so why not all the time? You don't have to be. You don't have to be. You are you. I am a morass. It's a good word. A self-pity. Yes, I am. That's how I live. That's how I live from day to day. You live and I'll live and you be whatever you are and I'll be whatever I am because that's the only... Do you think I want to be like this? Every day when I wake up, I think, today I'll be different. Today I'll be happy. Today I'll sparkle. Today... By 10 o'clock, it's gone. I'm dull. I'm dead. I'm me. I can't be different. Oh, I can be what you want when I'm with you. And I can be what he wants when I'm with him. But I'm not with him. And I'm not with you all the time. I'm with me and I know. And that's it. I mean, that is. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let the light of his countenance shine upon you. The Lord grant you his peace, now and forevermore. I didn't say any of the things I wanted to say. Things to make it so easy for her. Things would have made her hate me. Things to disgust and sicken her. Things sicken me, things I've done. Little men and scurrying. Lies I've told, love I've made cheap. This baby. Honestly, Jess, I don't know who. It could be one of five or six. It isn't important, but I think it would have helped her. I think it would have helped. I didn't say any of those things. Better not. 
still, I, I still really want her to love me. All my life, I, I can't remember once, not once, when she put her arms around me and said, I love you. Oh boy, here we go. Doesn't it make you sick, even you? <laughs> I love you. People have just said that and got what they wanted. Terry, I love you, take your clothes off. Terry, I love you, lie down on the bed. Terry, I love you. <sighs> These things, I think them, I never say. Poor old Jess. My mother, not once, has she put her arms round me and said, I love you, those bloody words. Get me a glass of water, sweetie. Oh, look, something just to empty my mind. I need to make me sleep. Look, I'm going to have this baby. You needn't worry about that, so get me a glass of water. Don't answer it. It's your brother again. Well, I won't talk to him. I told him you would. Well, now go back and tell him I won't. seemed awfully upset. Well, he can write. <sighs> How long, Jess, till you find your own flat? Oh, well, I don't know. I... Well, I mean, you can't stay here, not forever. Did you think you could? I thought you wanted... Well, I want somewhere... On my own, sweetie, I mean, that's the point. Oh. As long as you had nowhere to go, you know, you're welcome. I've been in that state myself. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Well, I haven't really been looking. Well, I should start looking. But your needs... Now, I've got everything I need. Well. I should put an advertisement in one of the papers, one of the evening papers. It comes a bit expensive, but it saves all the traipsing around the agents. Yes, I will. Tomorrow. I think I'll try and get some sleep now. I'd like to stay. Help you. I could... Well, I could look after you. You couldn't. You'll find this flat's a bit much. Well, I thought of that when I took it on. I can cope. Let me stay. Night. Sleep well. Mm. Shall I turn the light out? Thanks, love. See you in the morning. His darkness cover you. The Lord torment you. Now and forevermore. 